Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we're going to use these to make the amaretto sour. But first, this. So let's talk about a sour. Sours are basically a family of cocktails that contain a base spirit, for example, rum or whiskey and so on. Add some kind of a citrus juice, usually a lemon and a sweetener, some sugar, honey, whatever you like to use to sweeten everything up. Now the first record of a sour comes to us from Jerry Thomas's 1862, How to Mix Drinks. But this contains amaretto, which is a liqueur. Amaretto liqueur has two origin stories. The first is that in 1786, the Lazzaroni family created an amaretto cookie for the local king. And then in 1851, they created an infusion with these cookies to create the liqueur. The other story is that of a widow from the Reina family. She sat as a muse for Bernardino Luini in 1525 while he painted the fresco of the Madonna of the Miracles in Sarona, Italy. And that's a mouthful. But in thanks, she created this amber liquid and gave it to him as a, as a gift. This recipe has been handed down generation to generation and is sold as the Serrano. So fast forward to the 1970s and an entrepreneurial bartender created the Amaretto Sour, which is basically amaretto and lemonade. But over time, it's been modernized and adapted as many cocktails are. So I'm going to make the Morgenthaler version of this drink. So let's make the Amaretto Sour. So the first thing I need is my mixing glass. Now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crack my egg first. And the reason I crack my egg first is because I need about half of an egg white. So that way, if you make a mistake, you're not getting egg yolk into the drink itself. Okay. Now I do need two ounces or 45 milliliters of amaretto. Now amaretto is of course a, a liqueur that is sweet and very almond-like. The next thing that I need, of course, is uh, bourbon. Now, Jeffrey uh, Morgenthaler says that you should have a cask-proof bourbon. Unfortunately, I don't have that. I do have some Buffalo Trace, which I think is just an excellent, excellent bourbon. Now you need three quarters of an ounce, or about 22 and a half. For this. And it's already starting to do something interesting there. Okay. The next thing I need is, I need a one to one simple syrup. Now Jeffrey Morgenthaler says a, a two to one. I've only got one to one. So he says one teaspoon or five milliliters. I'm gonna put two spoons in. That way I get the same amount of sugar so I can get that sweetness that he uh, recommends. And then I need one ounce of lemon. These lemons are pretty tiny. Must be the time of year. Now you can adjust the amount of lemon that you put in your drink and you're going to do that because you may find that it's not working the way you want it to. You might want it a little bit more sweet or a little bit more sour. Again, your personal taste buds will uh, matter. And this lemon was so small it didn't even give me an ounce. So now, heaven forbid, I gotta cut into another lemon. Okay, guess I better make another one after this because I've got a little bit of lemon left over here. You know what, I'll put that right there. Okay, we're almost there. So one of the things that we have to do first is this is what we're doing is called a reverse shake. So we're gonna shake it for about 10 seconds with ice first. And you know what? Let's see if I can do a proper ice cracking. So the ice is nicely cracked. 
We're gonna shake this for about 10 seconds. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to strain this back into the glass because we want to get rid of the ice. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. We are going to shake it again for another 10 seconds. And what this should give us is a really nice frothy head. Oh, sounds like I missed one ice crystal. You know, you're supposed to be able to just touch it or I'd like to think I'm generally pretty good at this. Normally I don't have this problem, but lately either I'm way out of hand strength <laughs> or there it goes. There it goes. So what we need is a rocks glass and we're going to put fresh ice in here. couple nice size cubes here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to because I had some ice chunks in here I'm going to fine strain this all right take a look at that absolutely gorgeous and you know what? I am going to give this a little bit of a lemon zest. And what I'm going to do here is one of the things you want to do when you're doing this is you want to do this directly above your drink. And by doing this above your drink, any of the extra citrus oils that might escape are actually given directly onto the glass. <laughs> I apologize, I cannot speak. Onto the glass itself. So here we have an Amarillo Sour. Smells good, smells kind of sweet, kind of lemony. It's got this beautiful little foamy head on top of it. Oh, that's really good. There's a good kick of lemon. The, uh, the bourbon trace is nicely balanced. The amaretto comes through. It's not sweet. This is excellent. I can see why this is the uh, amaretto sour of choice. I recommend this. And I really do actually recommend this. Um, but I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this directly in the description down below. If this is your first time with this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and you hit the bell notification. That way, every time we paste a new video, you'll be notified. But if you didn't find this video informative or funny, or just me being difficult with the way I speak, hit the thumbs down button twice. And I'll see you next time. Welcome back to Boys Up Pro to the Amaretto Sour. Sir, I don't, I've got a problem apparently already. Sour, take one. So let's fast forward to the 1970s and an entrepreneurial bartender created the Amaretto Sour. Sir, sir. Stop it.